firefighter paramedics work full 24-hour shifts just to keep up with demand. In Los Angeles, we average probably around 1,500 emergency calls in a 24-hour period. And the greatest percentage of those calls are EMS, emergency medical service calls. We have a one-story single-family dwelling fully involved. The working schedule at best is a 56-hour work week. That's the standard. Holidays, Hanukkah, Christmas, Easter, it doesn't make any difference. City firefighter paramedic Jeff Braff has worked on the streets of L.A. for over two years. Before I got a job here, I worked as a nurse working in the ER, there were a lot of firefighter paramedics coming in. You know, I thought to myself, man, that's, that's got to be 100 times more exciting than what I'm doing now. So that's why I switched. But all paramedics eventually learn that being in the field isn't all action and excitement. You think all of it is going out there and helping the critically ill and injured, and you find out that it's only 10 to 20 percent of the time that you're doing that and the rest of the 80% of the time is going out there and just giving a helping hand and giving a ride to the hospital. It's more of a taxi service and it's more of a counseling service. And then once in a while comes the time where they really need you. Fire department, uniform ambulance. And a structure fire. Have a man on fire. A man on fire. Yes, that same location. At station 33, Firefighter Braff is on the team responding to an emergency call. A severe burn trauma. We stopped. All I saw was the firemen running straight for us with a burn victim on their gurney. The guy was still alive, in a lot of pain, and having a lot of trouble. And you can see it in the fireman's eyes. Yeah. Where's his burn, Johnny? He's got third degree burn, second and third. All the way through. <laughs> and it's kind of startling when you when you see them in a panic, because most of the time, you know, they're nice, calm, and collected with everything they do. But to see that in their eyes coming straight to you with that type of patient, get your adrenaline flowing. <laughs> The patient has suffered second and third degree burns over 75% of his body in a fire that had consumed his home. The team pours water over the man to stop his skin from burning further. When you get down to the third degree, you're going full thickness of the skin. You're burning through nerve endings, hair follicles, um, muscle tissue. When the body burns, fluid flows to the damaged tissues, causing them to swell and blister. An external burn this severe can mean unseen internal damage. Unfortunately, with burn patients, they're one of the toughest cases to handle. Uh, not only are they burn on the outside, but they can cause a lot of burn and inflammation to their lungs and their trachea on the inside. Swelling of the airways can cause suffocation. But first, Jeff must contend with the overwhelming pain. You want to decrease their pain, but uh, morphine is a respiratory depressant, so you don't want to do that initially, especially if they're still breathing well. But without morphine, the patient continues to fight paramedics trying to establish an IV on his swollen limbs. During the call, I can remember thinking about his airway, thinking about getting IV access, thinking about giving him some pain medication, and thinking that this is one of the most frustrating calls that I've been on in a long time. Despite all their training, sometimes there isn't anything a paramedic can do except get a patient to the hospital as fast as possible. Fortunately, we were only four minutes away from the trauma center, and 
Uh, we had a pretty good driver, so they got us there pretty quick. But even the fastest ambulance can't outrun the inevitable. The patient, sadly, will not survive his injuries. We don't play God. Sometimes everything you do, you just can't get through and you can't save the guy, and, and those are the harder ones to deal with. I ask myself, is there anything else I could have done? Usually it's not. It's just that it was that patient's time, his time to go.